Now to a Team 10 investigation we've been looking into for months. Workers at the massive Spay War facility in Old Town are claiming their building is making them very sick. Our investigative reporter Jennifer Kastner has an exclusive interview with an employee who's now begging for answers. Jen. Yeah, she is begging for answers. This has been a long delay. She says chemical testing keeps getting delayed and delayed. Meanwhile, she tells us that she and others are constantly sick. Spay War is a large employer in San Diego. It has about 1600 military and civilian employees. This facility had problems back in 2014 when there was concern over possible exposure to toxic fumes. Nausea, blurred vision, fatigue, um, and dizziness. And it happens every time she says she and more than a dozen colleagues are in their office on the Old Town campus of Space and Naval Warfare Systems Command or SPAWAR. Uh, within half hour of arriving to work, I just start to develop a migraine. Um, sometimes it's debilitating. We put her in silhouette and changed her voice for this exclusive interview with 10 News. She fears losing her job for breaking her silence. It was last year when she tells us IT firm Booz Allen Hamilton hired her to do contracted work at Spaywar. She and her colleagues do not work with chemicals. Last fall, she says they started complaining of the same symptoms. So Spaywar management instructed them to fill out these health logs. This person put, there are times that I need to leave throughout the day to get fresh air in order to reduce the pounding headache and dizziness. These symptoms often continue three to four hours after leaving the office. I know this question has been raised. If your health is at risk, why don't you just quit? I can't. I have kids I need to take care of. She provided us with numerous internal emails dating back to October that she says were sent by supervisors. They acknowledge there's a problem, but they're trying to address it. As some of you may know, our blank family have been getting ill, headaches, nausea while at work. The next step is that facilities will do an airflow study followed by air quality test to see if they can determine if it's something airborne. More than 100 days later, it appears there still aren't many answers. This February email, a test came back negative for mold. They're coordinating with Spaywar facilities to conduct further testing for airflow, air quality and volatile organic compounds. Bottom line, Spaywar is taking this quite seriously. Unfortunately, with these kinds of things, it's a slow process. So now we're already looking at six months of all of us being you know, subjected to migraines, nausea, fatigue. Her concern is heightened given four years ago, about 100 people from a nearby Spaywar building were temporarily moved because of possible exposure to the toxic chemical TCE. It turns out TCE was left over in the ground after it was used to make aircrafts in the complex during World War II. The area has since been going through cleanup. 10 News contacted the contract company that hired our disguised source to ask about the newly reported symptoms in her building. We are concerned and actively working to protect our employees. While we don't own the workspaces, we are having regular and ongoing discussions with those who oversee the environment. Spaywar referred us to the Navy, which owns the workspaces and claims there are no known air quality issues where our source works, but admits it's investigating reports of symptoms in the nearby building that had the TCE issues. However, it's found no significant hazards to the workforce. I'm concerned not only for my health, but for the health of my coworkers. And the Navy says the health and safety of its workforce is a top priority. As for the area of Spaywar with the TCE history, it's not even close to being fully cleaned up. According to the State Department of Toxic Substances, it will take several more years. There's extensive remediation needed for the soil and for the groundwater. Jennifer Kastner, 10 News.